The EU's unity is at risk, as the Netherlands appears to be taking Britain's position in the EU, siding with the US over China. In January, the EU and China concluded principal negotiations on an investment deal, with German Chancellor Angela Merkel and French President Emmanuel Macron playing an active role in driving through the accord. The pact came amid deep concerns about the Chinese government's use of its economic clout to enmesh itself in Western countries. But a European Commission statement said the agreement is of major economic significance and that China has committed to an unprecedented level of market access for EU investors. Beijing agreed to work towards meeting global standards on forced labor. Chinese President Xi Jinping will join an EU-China leaders meeting in Brussels this year, another sign of growing links between the EU and China. However, the agreement is causing havoc with several member states deeply divided on the issue. Beijing recently organized a new summit of the so-called 17 plus 1 to strengthen ties with 12 EU member states and counter transatlantic rapprochement. However, at the meeting on February 9, only six of 12 heads of state from the grouping's EU members were present alongside President Xi Jinping, sending a signal of growing distance. Moreover, on Thursday, the Dutch parliament passed a non-binding motion saying the treatment of the Uyghur Muslim minority in China amounts to genocide, the first such move by a European country. Activists and United Nations rights experts believe at least one million Muslims are being detained in camps in the remote western region of Xinjiang. China has been accused of using torture, forced labor and sterilizations. Beijing denies any human rights abuses in Xinjiang and says its camps provide vocational training and are needed to fight extremism. Stopping short of directly saying the Chinese government was responsible, the Dutch motion said, a genocide on the Uyghur minority is occurring in China. The Chinese embassy in The Hague responded to the accusations saying any suggestion of genocide in Xinjiang was an outright lie and the Dutch parliament had deliberately smeared China and grossly interfered in China's internal affair. According to the head of Oxford-based think tank Euro Intelligence Wolfgang Munchau, the Netherlands' move is significant because it is another example of the Dutch government taking Britain's role in the EU, aligning its foreign policy position with the US. He wrote in a recent report, when it became the third EU member state to release an Indo-Pacific strategy last year, the Dutch government wrote that the EU should seek to join the US-led Blue Dot Initiative, which is widely viewed as a counter to China's Belt and Road Initiative. The Dutch government has also purchased F-35 jets from the US government, while the Netherlands is one of the top five largest investors in the US. 